Hello guys, good morning. Today is Tuesday. Um, it's at like, I thought I heard a bee in here. <laughs> it's at like three o'clock. I am going to go pick up my Joann's order. It's finally ready, I'm so excited. I just wanna finish this project already. It's actually really warm out. It's 63 degrees, I don't know why I put on a long sleeve. Clearly, I don't know how to act anymore. I couldn't even put on a real bra though, so like, what am I kidding? And I'm also wearing leopard slippers right now <laughs> to exit my house because in all honesty, no one's seeing my feet. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the plan. I slept like absolute garbage last night. Don't know what happened. I had no problem falling asleep. I fell asleep at like 1.30, which is good for me. And then I was up at four o'clock <laughs> in the morning, like, like like it was like nine o'clock in the morning. I was like up and ready to go. So, so basically this morning I did nothing. <laughs> I, well, I got up at like nine. So I fell back asleep sometime. I don't know when I fell back asleep, but um, I made myself fall back asleep. I think it was around 6.30 cause I heard my brother leave. So I fell back asleep somewhere around there, slept until like nine and then got up and uploaded the vlog and then fell back asleep till 12 because my sleeping schedule was just like all messed up. So that was literally my day. Now it's three o'clock. I'm going to go pick up my Joanne's order. Um, Dan actually picked up some hardware for me. Oh my God, that was a close call, FedEx Freight. Close call. Um, he picked up some hardware for me to hang the chandelier. Where am I going? Where am I going? Okay. Guys, like I said, I'm so bad with directions. Um, Yeah, so he picked up some hardware for me and um, he's coming over tomorrow because he had a couple of things to do for work where he had to be at his house with like, at his house he has like a, a whole office set up with like a desktop monitor, his printer, his fax machine, a table where he can have like his layout papers on and stuff, his layouts, I think they're called layouts of buildings and things. Um, so he had to stay home to get some of that done. So he's coming over tomorrow night, I believe after his, um, after work. I won't be able to like finish finish the thing because I think he, he got like invisible wire. I'm assuming he got one of those hooks like the ones that came from the macrame hangers, the ones that like screw into the ceiling. I don't know, but I'm hoping. Um, and then I'll hang that up. I'll be so excited. I'm not gonna actually put a light in. It's just gonna be for decor because I don't really feel like doing all that <laughs> work and like electrical work just for when I'll be leaving. And it's like not my house, you know? Really cute little thing of decor. I also placed, I so I was reading your comments also from the vlog that went up today. And one of you guys recommended, a lot of you guys were saying like, don't get rid of the memo board, it's so cute. Try to like redo it in some way. Then I saw a comment saying, saying that I should use burlap. So I was like, oh my God, that's such a good idea. Like that will look so nice with this whole like natural boho chic vibe. That's what, that's what the comments said too. And I was like, oh my God, yes, loving you. So I picked, I placed an order with Home Depot for like a thing of burlap. It was like $6. Um, and yeah, I don't know when it'll be ready, but I'm excited to go do that. I'm just loving these little crafts. It's keeping me busy. <laughs> if any of you guys want to try the chandelier, I highly, highly recommend it. It's so much fun because, I mean, it's a little monotonous, but it keeps you busy for days because you have to make so many um, tassels that it keeps you busy. So it definitely is a good way to like, if you have nothing to do, like many of us right now, um, it's a good way to kind of just like keep your day busy because you're just wrapping chandeliers. You can put on a movie, make your tassels, and yeah, it's fun. Are they gonna reopen this? No. Okay. I don't know why I continue to go this way when I literally went this way, what, two days ago and realized that they permanently closed that road? 
or doing construction. So I don't know why I came around this way, but you know, choices were made. I've been talking for seven minutes. Okay, I should probably shut up. I'm hoping that when I get home, I'm gonna, well, I'm not, I'm hoping. When I get home, I'm gonna check the mailbox and see if the Amazon packages came in which they said it was delivered, so I'm assuming it will be there for my eyelashes. And then I'll probably make dinner and then film that video tonight. Since I'll be filming it in front of my vanity mirror, I don't really think I need like natural light, so I think that'll be fine. Um, so yeah, loving, living, feeling like this weather makes my like soul so happy. I love it, I live for it. I just wish it could be like this all the time. I love it. I'm gonna stop blabbering your ear off now. <laughs> I'm so confused. I just got home and checked the mail. And is my address on this? I hope not. Um, I hope not, but the lashes are not here. I have the lash glue that came in. I can tell by the feel, but that's it. So I need to go online and like go to my, go on my computer and actually go on like amazon.com and see what's going on because it was supposed to be here already. It says it was delivered. So I don't know, I'll go check it out. So I figured out where my package is from Amazon. So I guess I ordered, I ordered a couple different things. You saw yesterday, like I ordered the book, the beads, the macrame plant hangers, and then I ordered um, the Ardell Dark Tone Lash Individual Glue, and then I ordered like a four pack of the lashes. So they're not going to be here until Thursday, the lashes themselves. Everything else has come in. The glue came in today. That was what was in my mailbox. And the lashes will be here Thursday. So I'll probably do the lashes Friday maybe. I don't know, guys. I'm so sorry. I really thought they were going to be here sooner because I ordered them last week. But it took a while. So that being said, my other, um, oh my God, my hair. You guys, like, what? Whoever looks cute right now during quarantine, I'm jealous of you because I, like, what, what, what? I have no hair, I have no nails, I have no lashes. It's not a cute picture. Anyways, um, <laughs> my other American Eagle package came in and my Old Navy package came in. So you'll probably get a haul this week, soon, um, depending on what's going on. I'm making dinner right now, I'm making, Sausage, peppers, and onions. I'm using this chicken sausage by Gilbert's. It's called Gilbert's Craft Sausages. Caprese. It's a caprese, basil, mozzarella, and sun-dried tomato chicken sausage. So just making these with two peppers, two green peppers, an onion, and I'm gonna put some mushrooms in there. Eddie hates mushrooms, but he can just pick them out because I like mushrooms and I'm cooking, so I'm <laughs> doing what I like. How many of you guys are like tired of cooking <laughs> also because like you know you can't go out to eat we've been doing like local takeout once a week typically on like saturday or friday night like when either friday night or saturday night one of the nights when i don't feel like cooking we'll do like a local takeout um which i think is so important because all of these local businesses i mean nobody's making money so I think it's nice to give yourself a break from cooking and also, oh my God, my pepper was pregnant. Hmm, that's so sad. Um, give yourself a break and also support your local restaurants. Also, my burlap is ready, but I never went to pick it up. I'll pick it up when it was tomorrow or sometime. I have to place another Target order because I need wee wee pads for the dogs. And every time I go to get them, they're sold out. So, I'm hoping I can find them soon because my dogs go to the bathroom on wavy pads, at least Oliver does for the majority. Oliver does all the time. He does not go to the bathroom outside. He goes on the wavy pad, which I keep in the bathroom. Um, Lola will go outside to pee, but she won't poop outside. <laughs> I have the most like high maintenance dogs ever. Dinner is done. Eddie is cleaning. Are we deceased? Hello? Hi. What's up? Such a grump. I'm not grump. Oh my god. So upset that you're doing dishes right now? No. It's okay. It's kind of satisfying. Satisfying? Yeah. 
Loving that answer. Doing dishes more often? Definitely not. Don't get, don't get your hopes up. <laughs> so, I picked up a bath, well, two baskets from my parents' house. Well, my parents' garage didn't actually go in. Because the shelf that I have all my hair products on is kind of bare now because I took the fern that was on there and put it in that macrame hanger. So, got some baskets. I think I'm gonna use this one for my hair stuff. And then, I was thinking that I could do something with these vases here. Because you see it's just styrofoam because I took the full flowers out and I have another one over here and maybe wrap it in twine and then do the pompous grass in there. I think that could be cute. What do we think? Good project for today? Do we? Should we? I also have these still from Target that I have yet to put anything in. So I'm thinking pompous will go in here too. So maybe we'll do the vases. Okay, I've talked myself out of doing those vases until I finish my freaking crochet tassel chandelier. So, on to making tassels again. This is what I picked up from Joann's today. I picked up two of them. I believe they're only like $2.80 each. Um, so if you use this, this size roll, because the first time I did it, I got the jumbo size roll. I don't know how many tubes of this you would need. I'm assuming maybe like I don't know, maybe six? I don't know. Um, I guess it also depends on like how big your hoops are and how many times you wrap it around a book and yada, yada, yada. So I'm gonna finish making tassels. I just have the half, well, like three quarters of the last hoop to do. So I'm thinking maybe like 40 to 50 more tassels and I'll be done making tassels. So I have gone through one and a half <laughs> more rolls of crochet thread but i'm finally done and i don't ever want to make another tassel for a very long time that wasn't proper english but um you know i don't want to make another tassel for a long long time there you go just kidding i actually do want to make another craft for the tassel but not for a while i don't know does this need i think um i don't know now that i'm looking at it i think that one this side might need like one or two more because that side's very full. Or I could just spread them out. I don't know. Mm. I think I should put one more right here. Oh, damn it. Okay, making another tassel. I added like four more tassels, okay? And I have to stop looking at it because I feel like the longer I look at it, the more I'm going to want to keep adding. So I'm going to stop here. Um, I started a new show on Netflix. This is called never have i ever it's actually really cute it's actually really cute you guys should check it out it says that it was number six in the u.s today on netflix so i checked it out it's super cute it's like really easy to watch um and funny and like lighthearted and just cute so anyways i'm gonna end the vlog here um finally done so glad to be done with this Tassel chandelier. Well, almost done. The tassel part is done. Um, and then when Dan comes over tomorrow night, he'll be here later tomorrow night, like probably around 8 o'clock. Um, I'll probably put it together and finally hang it up. So, yes. All right. I'll let you guys go. I love you. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Lola and Oliver say goodnight too. <laughs>